Hello guys, it's PP. Around 3 months ago I decided I wanted to get my aim to the next level. I already considered myself to be quite a good aimer. I'll show some clips in the background of me hitting clips before aim training. I play quite a lot of shooters. Those I played most were Call of Duty, Black Ops 2, 3 and 4, Modern Warfare and some Apex Legends, PUBG, Rainbow Six Siege and CSGO. I've been playing shooters since I was 11 or 12 years old on the Xbox 360 and I switched to PC gaming at around 14. I'm now 19 and mainly play Valorant, CSGO, Apex, Black Ops 4 and Modern Warfare. Mate. I've tried a few different aim trainers. Aim Lab, Aim Beast, Aim Testic, and Kovacs. Combined I have around 120 hours of playtime, including some idle time, and my preferred trainer is Kovex, as it's currently the most polished one and has the most scenarios by far. Aimbeast is also really good, I'm just waiting until more scenarios are made before implementing that in my routine. My first 10 hours of Kovacs were mostly just exploring the game and trying things out. I wasn't consistent in the beginning and I didn't really know what I was doing. After around a month of mad training, Somewhere at the start of May, I started doing Aimer 7's routines. By the way, I'll leave links to everything I talk about in this video in the description. I quickly found out how average of an Aimer I actually was. I thought I'd start with the intermediate routine, but I was completely flooded by the bot's movement in close fast trace Invincible. This is a really hard scenario, but I wasn't even nearly ready for it. I ended up starting with the advanced beginner complete routine. After about a month, I started doing the sub-intermediate complete routine. I also increased my training time from 1 hour to about 1.5 hours a day. A few weeks later I found a post on reddit from a guy that made a newer version of Aimer 7's aim training guide, as this was getting a bit old and there were newer and better scenarios available. I've now been doing the newer sub-intermediate routine for about 2 weeks. With more than 100 hours in aim training, did I improve? I just did all the scenarios I've ever practiced so I can compare my scores now to my starting scores. I'll show the graphs of the scenarios I played the most. If you want to take a better look at them, pause the video, otherwise this video is going to be way too long. On the horizontal axis is the amount of times I've played that scenario. And on the vertical axis is the score I got, the higher the better. As you can see there's quite a clear upward trend in most of the graphs and my latest scores are pretty much always a lot better than my first scores. Some scenarios are a bit RNG heavy though, so high scores don't tell everything. I'll also put some graphs on screen with the average scores I got every day and the averages of every week, so that should say more about my actual improvement. On some of the graphs there are some relatively bad days, which is probably because I recently got a new mouse and new mouse pad and adjusting to new gear always takes a bit of time. Other times the graph suddenly goes up a lot after being quite consistent. That's probably because I improved while taking a break from that scenario while I'll practice other scenarios. When starting out I also recorded a few of my best runs at the time. I'll put runs from the past week of the same scenarios next to them so you can see the difference. Keep in mind that I didn't record any runs when I just started so on the left side are my best runs from about 1 or 2 weeks in and on the right side are my best recent runs. By the way, if you're liking this video so far, you'd be doing me a big favor by liking this video. Preparing a video like this takes months and the YouTube algorithm pays a lot of attention to the amount of likes on a video. So smashing that thumbs up really helps my channel. Can we get 69 likes on this video? That's way more than I've ever gotten, but I'd absolutely love to hit that number someday. Aim training was quite boring for me at the start. Just like studying, it was something I did just for the results. As I'm getting better though, I'm enjoying training itself more and more. Trying to get high on the leaderboards, improving your own scores, seeing your own progression, leveling up and going to the next level aiming routine, eventually becoming an aim god. Basically, the more you play, the more fun it gets. Did aim training help me in game though? Yes, but there are two sides to this I really want to explain. Aim trainers like Kovacs help you improve your aim and mouse control way faster than playing any normal shooter. In shooters you have loading times, waiting for a match to start, walking around, collecting loot, etc etc. In trainers you are aiming 99% of the time and you can isolate specific parts of your aim, like long range tracking, close range tracking, target switching, 
Click Timing, Flicking. What you have to keep in mind though, is that trainers don't help you to control recoil, help you with movement, increase your game sense or decision making. If you want to become a god in Counter-Strike, don't expect to become one by training your aim 6 hours a day. In most games, aim is just a small part of what makes someone a good player. However, I do think that training your aim for a limited amount of time daily is extremely helpful for improving. Just make sure you actually play the games you're training for. Especially games like Valorant and Counter-Strike heavily rely on crosshair placement and recoil control and communication and game sense. Having good aim will only help you just a little bit. I'll now show you some in-game clips I've gotten over the past two months or so. In the upper right corner is the amount of days that passed after I started doing the aim training routines. As you can see, I still have a lot of room for improvement, but I'm definitely getting better. If you are aim training yourself or considering to do so, I do have some advice to give to you. First of all, quality over quantity. Focus solely on training when training. Remove any distractions, turn off your phone or set it to flight mode. I recently started utilizing the Pomodoro technique. Basically, you focus the best you can for just 25 minutes, after that, you take a 5-10 to 10 minute break and do another Pomodoro, which is 25 minutes of full concentration. I learned this method for studying, but it also works really well with aim training. Second of all, stretch your wrist and fingers. This is important to prevent any injuries, and might help your aim to become less jittery. There's a link to a tutorial in the description. Third of all, sleep enough. I have another video about how I improve my reaction time. Sleep was one of the important factors and if you don't sleep enough, you will have a hard time focusing and you will probably improve less. My fourth tip, consistency. One hour a day is better than a single 10 hour session in the weekend. Don't overdo training. 
just like working out, you can train too much. I personally recommend starting with around an hour a day. If you're consistently doing high quality training, you will improve without a doubt. If you're still watching this, that's sick man, thank you. If you want to see more of my aim in game, not just the highlights, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll upload a video playing every shooter until I die very soon. Don't miss it. Links to everything I've talked about in the description. A ton of useful stuff down there. Have a good day guys and good luck on your aim training journey.